Hello there, welcome into this new video. If you want to set up your first digital planner, we are in the right place. We are all into just one video. I'm going to be showing you what we can do here with digital planners. Uh, I'm going to do this real quick. I'm just going to show you how we can edit one template for a digital planner and later we can just customize that. We can start to set it up and we can use this using your iPad or your phone or your computer, whatever device that you're going to be using. So in my case, I'm going to be using Canva because Canva is totally for free. I'm using a Canva Pro account. So there are a few tools that you might be needing to or you wanted to, if you don't have Canva Pro, you have down below the Canva Pro extension 30 day free trial, and then we can use this great application to totally for free. So I'm gonna hit into create this new file. As you can see, I do have this template. Here into my design, I want to add a weekly planner. So here I'm gonna choose this template the great uh, tool thing that Canva has is that we do have a lot of templates that we can customize uh, ourselves. So here, for example, I think that I kind of don't like this, but I'm going to choose that to-do list, for example. And here, what I want to do is to just change the text of this, um, this file. I'm going to just select all my file and I'm going to customize this a little. I'm going to move like this and if i want to make like the illusion that i was just making a notebook using the other file that i just did i'm gonna hit in here and i'm gonna just move this for example this rectangle like this here we go and up here i do have like a few stripes that looks like if this was a notebook so i'm gonna copy and paste that into this file so i'm gonna just track that move that in here and move these, of course, at the back. So there is a little style there. So once I do have this successfully done, um, I am now ready to start using my Canva, my actual planner. I'm going to just change the the font, the background. I'm going to move that in here. I'm going to leave it like that, and I'm going to hit into share. Now here into share, I'm going to go into download. I'm going to go into a PDF standard file. You want to make sure that your digital planner is in a PDF standard file. So after you go into select all the pages, you want to have everything just into one page. I mean, just in one file, right? So all the pages are just one uh, file. You can hit into download. And I just want to wait a, a couple of seconds till the PDF has been downloaded successfully. So here is my file. I'm going to hit into Digital Planner, Enter, and I'm going to choose PDF. So what's going to happen here is that automatically the computer, the file, it's going to be showing me the file that was downloaded. So if I want to customize this, if I want to make some scratches, or if I want to do like uh, annotations and all that in here, I do want to have an application that can be helping you to edit your uh, your own document. So what I want to do is to go into a new tab. And if you go for a Dobby reader, it's going to be appearing something like this. And if you choose your file explorer or you use your iPad or you choose another device, you want to make sure that you have the option available to use the file and to edit that into your own device. So in my case, I want to look for a digital planner, the file that we just downloaded. Here it is digital planner. So by default, I do have these options available into my computer. So if I choose draw, for example, here I can just use these different shapes, these colors, and here I can just start to move things into my file. So let's say that January 4th, here is like music day, something like that. There you go, like this. So um, I can go into add text, of course, if I wanted to, and Thursday, uh, Thursday, let's say I have a soccer game. And I want to change this into black because I want to see this a little bit more and make this a little bit more big enough like this. And we're good to go. 
And here I just gonna make this look like this. And I want to leave it like that. And that's the way we can do that into our file. I have the erase button here. And here I can just tap this once. And it's no longer gonna be apparent in here. And if I want to highlight someone from the planner, I can do something like this. So as you can see, it's something that we can use totally for free. That's the reason why you want to use a PDF um, file. So you can customize this as you want to, wherever you want it to, and whenever you want it to. So I'm just going to move a little bit down and here to have like a, my weekly calendar. And here, let's say that I do have like uh, chemistry, I do have math, I do have uh, English class, I do have Spanish class, I do have um, different tools in here and I just want to scratch those like this or here into week notes I want to choose from Saturday so I can just do whatever I wanted to into this file like this I can do whatever I want I can go into the erase once again customize as I want to do and I have the to-do list now do laundry for example do laundry I mean for me it's a little bit difficult to do this if you have an iPad might be easier if you have like an Apple pencil or wherever you're using but in my case I think that I can add some text here like for example do laundry and watch a movie going out and leave it like that I'm going to delete I can move this if I want to and I want to make this a little bit more big to see this into my file so once I finish to do whatever you're doing here into your file I want to go into this uh, save as and I want to save this digital planner into a new file or if you don't want to save this template if you want to see all these scratches everything like like the last time that you use it you want to choose save so what's going to happen is that the original file is going to be saved with the same things in here so if I go into the X button and I type digital planner once again all my annotations all my stuff my text are already in here because I saved that inside the same file and if I want to erase those I do have the option to erase wherever I uh, I did that wasn't originally inside the file so you don't have to worry about that because that's the way uh, how does the PDF files work so there you have it guys now we can just set up our PDF file using wherever device that you can and want to thank you so much for watching the video now don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel if this was a very useful video for you thank you so much for watching the video and I will see you guys on the next video see you soon